You know, there's a lot of people who, who think about, you know, what is love? That's what these two are going to try to do now. 24-7 every day for the rest of their lives. What does it mean to love? Ultimately, the church teaches us love is a choice. It's not just a warm fuzzy. It's not just an emotion that we have. Love is a choice that we make. Always wanting what's best for the other, seeking to do the good for the other, being there to bring about those good things. It's what ultimately it means to love. Jesus really and truly, I think, defines most clearly for us what it means to love. Love as I have loved you. Love in the same way that I love you. So he really defines for us what it means to love. And if we want to fulfill that, that command, if we really want to, to live together as, as a married couple, a life of love, then this is your goal, to love as your God loves you. These two, I'm told, are, are, if the people I've been talking to are correct, are very competitive at times. They both like to win. And uh, they've had some battles, be it cards or, or games, uh, whatever it might be. And that's, that's a healthy competition. My desire and my hope is be as passionate in those kinds of things about what you're setting out to do today, to love. Have that same passion, that same fervor. I want to love you. I want to give myself away to you completely and fully every day. Be competitive about who's going to love the most, all right, and the fullest and, and be the most consistent. Uh, the fruit, of course, will be happiness. You'll be so happy when we follow God's plan. Sydney and Derek, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We have. we have. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? We will. Derek, please repeat after me. I, Derek, take you, Sydney, to be my wife. I, Derek, take you, Sydney, to be my wife. I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Sydney, please repeat after me. I, Sydney, take you, Derek, to be my husband. I, Sydney, take you, Derek, to be my husband. I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Sydney, take this ring. Sydney, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Derek, take this ring. Derek, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Derek. I think this is the best time for you to kiss your bride. Sydney, you look beautiful today. 
this is your ultimate dress up day. When you're a little girl, you used to love to dress up and dance around the house. I wish we could show a video of you in your Esmeralda costume, prancing around proudly. You wore that costume out. <laughs> but today I'm, I'm also having a bit of a deja vu moment. I'm thinking about the weekend that we moved you to Gonzaga your freshman year. I, I, at the time, I remember thinking about you moving away for several weeks prior. I pushed away any sadness that you were leaving. I was just excited for you to start the next chapter of your life. However, all the activity of that weekend masked my emotions at the time. And when we were driving home after we moved you in, it hit like a brick. I have a feeling that might happen again tonight. Dirk, we love you. You've made Sydney incredibly happy and we could not ask for more. A father's biggest wish for his daughter is that she'll marry somebody who will love and protect her from all life's ups and downs. And you are this man. Welcome to this crazy Disney family. <laughs> I've never met someone who's so selfless and caring and giving and she just, I can tell she just loves Derek so much. And that's what a brother or anyone who cares about someone would want is someone who just their number one priority is making them feel happy and feeling good and she just is so thoughtful and i know she just loves derek so much that i mean you can't choose who your brother or whoever would want to fall in love with but if i had to choose it'd be you every time you know um, but i just I've had the privilege of seeing their relationship progress and evolve over the years and just looking at it from the outside, you just it gives you hope that there's someone for everyone and that there is such thing as a soulmate, just seeing how happy you guys are together. And I just look forward to being a, a part of the journey you guys are starting and just all the memories that you have. And I just, I'm so grateful to be a part of your lives. And now that you're married, uh, you get that big brother love from me. And Derek, you've had my love from day one. You're gonna have it to the last one, man. I love you, bro. To Derek and Sydney. So, we were celebrating my wedding a couple of years ago, and I think Sid and Derek have been dating for like maybe four-ish months, so not that long, but I hadn't got to see Sid in a while, so I was like, oh, gotta ask all about this new guy. So, like being the like nosy best friend that I am, I of course was like, ooh, is he the one? And she literally said with a little, little twinkle in her eye and like such an affirmative yes, like he was the one. And you know, I was just like, wow, I need to meet this guy. And I can honestly say I have never met anybody who are each other's biggest fans more than these two. They love each other so much and that makes me so happy. Today we are celebrating the fact that my person has found her forever person. So let's all raise our glasses to give a big toast to Sydney and, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Valand. <laughs> Cheers. Um, Derek just told me not to embarrass him, which, no, <laughs> that won't happen. Um, as I stand here today, I'm looking at a young man that 30 years ago, I held in my arms. And the first thing you think of as a parent is, my goodness gracious, how could I love something this much? But you do. And for you who have more than one child, and you, you're getting ready to have a second one, and you say, how can I love this second child as much as I love my first? You do. It's automatic. He's always on me about telling him, I'm not a baby boy anymore, I'm grown up. Yes, he is. He's a wonderful man, he's a great son, and he's also my friend. But, much to his consternation, he will remain my little boy, no matter what he does, and no matter how old he gets for the rest of his life. Derek, I love you. Best thing that happened to Derek happened today. He got given a great gift beautiful woman with a funny, funny personality. She's charming. She's, she's everything that he needs in one hell of a match. This is what I want to say. I love you both very much. Welcome to our family, Sydney. You're a great addition. Derek, 
I'm so proud. There's nothing that I could look at any different. I love you both. Derek and Sydney, a great life.